it's gone right across the back four and now Monroe has it foul by Jones on Richards sending Brazier forward Hibbert and Carr are the two men over the ball both very inventive with dead ball situations that wasn't an accident it's got Hibbert through and somehow it hit McDonnell and he couldn't keep it out Wolves worked it brilliantly in the end Hibbert went on the run, Carr dummied, and as the wall broke, Carr chipped it over, and was Hibbert offside? McDonough, a brave effort to save it, but the ball just trickles into the net. Good header by Allardyce, Gary Jones, Morgan, Nicholson. Beautifully forward for Morgan and put out for a corner by Brazier. Morgan to take it. Paul Jones looking for it. So is Allardyce. Oh, unlucky! Morgan's corner, Paul Jones there for the first attempt, Allardyce on the second one, a very deliberate nod, just bounced it off the top of the bar. Wolves have contested every ball, they've looked sharp on the break, and they've scored a very good goal. Nicholson now. Greaves. Could have let that drop. Now he tries the shot. It's come to Watmore, who is a man who can finish! The linesman is here with his flag up. Well, it can only have been offside. The linesman had his flag up, but I don't think it was Watmore. Gary Jones. Morgan lurking on the touchline. Here he is now. Oh, he's past his man, but he was tripped. The culprit was Richards. Morgan. Allardyce is there, and he's missed it. Only by an inch or two. Another beautifully accurate cross, this time with a dead ball by Willie Morgan. Allardyce jumping. Meeting it with a solid header. And what was that, an inch past the post? Ian Greaves down on the bench there. And all the problems of 41 games written on that forehead. Ritson's free kick. Spinning into the penalty area. The header by Greaves. And back by Gary Jones. What more has missed? Greaves. Then Jones, then Watmore, and agony again as it just rolls across that penalty area, missing the far post. Nicholson, 40 minutes of the half gone, five minutes left. And again, touch of anxiety in the ball that Ritson played in there. Danger again then from Wolves on the break, but Bolton have ridden that, and Train is coming forward. Train into the box now for the right foot. And again on the left, Morgan was there! But it was blocked on the line by Palmer. Now Train, a header by Hibbert. Still it's not clear, but the whistle has gone for a foul. And as Paul Jones puts the ball in the net, there'll be no goal. And Pierce is down holding his thigh. And the pressure is lifted off Wolves just for a moment.
41 games, nine months of effort, and it's all coming to nothing. Yes, back on his feet, but anything but agile by the look of it. Forward come Bolton again. This is a whole season's endeavour here. That's the danger, and the goalkeeper's got it. But that's the ball that he's going to have difficulty with. The high one with forwards coming in on him. And now here's Gould, and the linesman flagged for a foul by Gould. Ritson to take the free kick. We've had three and a half minutes of injury time. The back header by Jones, and the goalkeeper has got it bravely again under a challenge by Nicholson. Trainer is on. Well, Pierce is a hero of this game. It's Pierce, you may remember, who performed wonders at Wembley for Wolves in the League Cup final. And today, although there is no prize at stake for them, because they're already certain to be champions, he certainly has been a hero. And he's not going to see out the final seconds. They'll have to take him off, and it'll be Bobby Gould who'll go in goal. And he, in his time, has performed a few heroics in that role. So Bobby Gould, always a player who relishes a battle always loves to be in the thick of things taking over now in goal not the first time he's done it in the league game but how long to go by my watch it's almost 50 minutes since we kicked off this half we've had time wasting we've had stoppages somehow or other mr partridge is making calculations out there but it can't be much now Hibbert takes the free kick sunderland Hipped away from Carr by Allardyce, Gary Jones chasing it, so two is Richards. You'd have thought that was virtually the first ball of Richards' season, not the last. Ritson. Ritson's deep cross on the test goal. He's way out of goal, but the ball's out for a goal kick. Drama, suspense, anguish. One by Ritson. On to Paul Jones. Overcomes the cross. Feared by Palmer. And there's the final whistle. That's the end of all Bolton's hopes of promotion for the second successive season. Two years running, they've gone to the very threshold of the first division and stumbled 